Whereas this one can tell me all kinds of things about the tread, um, the tire itself, if there's any issues with the rim, it can measure all of that. First thing we've got to do when we mount this thing up is turn it on. There's a little button right here behind the screen. And then we have to get the correct collar for this diameter in there. So you see I've got a whole set of them. Um, that's a pretty small one, so I'm going to start all the way up here with my gray one. Yeah, it looks like that's it. What I'm looking for is one that doesn't bottom all the way out, but still fits into the hole. So this guy right here, really good fit for that. So that's going to go on my arbor. Just set it on that way. And then I'll set this guy on. And what we'll use is this right here. It's got a little plastic piece that should be on it. Anytime you've got an aluminum wheel there, if it's steel, I don't mind if this thing is off. But same thing, I'm trying not to leave marks on the customer's rim or their vehicle. Okay, so all we gotta do is roll around and lift it onto this arbor. Now, uh, not all shops will have this. I didn't opt for the option because I knew there wouldn't be enough room. But uh, if you look at the front of this device, there's a couple of screw holes right there. They do have a lift where you just roll it on the lift, step on a pedal, and it lifts it for you. I don't want to get too lazy, I guess. I'm going to lift something. All right, so we'll thread this on. spin just to see if the rim is moving and the tire is moving because if this didn't go on to that little chunk very well it won't spin true but you look pretty good there I'll take that okay so now all I got to do is tell the machine what I want to do what kind of balance do I want to do where am I going to put my wheel weights and whether or not I want any diagnostic routine so right now it's set up to put a weight on either side of the rim you can see the highlighted ones there these guys inside, those are for tape weights. So if you've ever seen where somebody peels some tape off some weights and glues them on the inside of the tire, that's what it's for. But this has got a lip on both sides. I'm not going to do tape weights. Also back here, you see this thing where it says road force with straight track. So what we're going to do is I can turn that off and basically tell the machine I'm just going to balance and put it back on the car. That's all I want. Give it another click, it's going to road force. And what that means is it's going to look for a stiff spot in the tire. And if I hit it again, it's going to look for a stiff spot in the tire, but it's also going to look to see if that tire has a tendency to want to pull one way or the other. You might do an alignment on a machine and go, these numbers are perfect, and then take it down the road and it still goes off to the right or the left. <laughs> it could be a defect in the tread that's doing that. This will diagnose it. And even better, if you come up here where you see one, two, three, four, if I go in there to do that process, actually see I got little tags here. The first tire I do with the road force on, I'm gonna tag that as number one. The next one is number two, number three, number four. When I finish the fourth one, it'll tell me which corner to put that tire on the car to cancel that out. So if it sees one that pulls a little bit to the right, one that pulls a lot to the left, and maybe another one that pulls to the left, it's gonna tell me which corner of the car to put it on so it goes as straight as possible. A little bit overkill, but if you're having a little problem, sometimes we can straighten that out. Okay, I'm going to ask it to do both. So we're going to do a road course and a straight track and a balance. Well, to balance this thing, it needs to know where in the world, in this space, can it put the tires, uh, the wheel weights. And so what I need to do is I'm going to pull this guy out, and I'm going to put this little roller right where the wheel weight would go. And this guy right here, right where the wheel weight's going to go. And then my input is the pedal. So I step on the pedal and it took the measurements. It now knows how wide the rim is, how far away it is from the head, and what the diameter is. So it's ready for that. The next thing I need to do, because I'm going to road force and straight track it, if this drum comes down and hits a flat tire, it's just going to squish the crap out. So what I need to do is we need to set the air pressure. do this by itself. Every once in a while it's cycle off, see how much pressure is in it. Yeah, it sees we're pretty low. 
Um, I also want to make a note while I'm doing this. You'll note it still works even though I'm wearing gloves. If I pulled out my cell phone, my cell phone wouldn't work. This isn't like your cell phone. It's not the touch screen. It acts like it, but what it is is there's kind of a gap between the frame and the glass. It's got infrared beams that go up in this way. So when you touch something, whether it's a pen or your finger or a wheel weight, it doesn't matter. You're breaking the beam. So if something's not working, the answer is not push harder on my screen. Right? Because that'll just break it. It just means for whatever reason, either the beams aren't reading because it's dirty down here or something else is, but don't don't start hitting like you with your cell phone. <laughs> okay, so it set the pressure for me, so I'm done. There we go, it likes that. And now I'm ready for it to go back in the car with that too. Okay, so I'm going to lower the hood, and here's what's going to happen. It's going to spin the tire to figure out the balance. And then after a second, if you guys are watching through the holes anywhere, you're going to see this drum come down, and it's going to squish this tire hard. Almost like it's back on the car and you got the full force of the road on it. And what it's doing is, it's watching to see how much this thing bounces forward and backwards as it hits the hard, hard spots in the tire. And it's also looking to see, is something trying to drag my drum from one way or the other? That's how it figures out the true track. So, we'll go ahead and drop the hood. First it spins it to figure out where's the imbalance, what weight should I put on it. There's the drum. Now you guys can kind of see it over here, it's squishing the crap out of the tire. back off in a second. Yeah, that's part of the true track. Big track. All right, so here's what it gives me. We'll do the measure in a second. It tells me the weights I need to balance it. Well, I've got old weights on it, so I'm gonna pull those off and spin it again. But if I just wanted to balance it, 1.75 in here, it's even throwing a laser line for me. And if I touch that one, it'll shoot a laser line on the outside and show me where it is. But right now it's telling me excessive road force detected. So about 20 pounds of force is what they consider acceptable. This one's got 21 pounds. The less, the better. And so what it's doing now is it knows where the stiff spot in the tire is, but it doesn't know anything about the rim. And so what it wants me to do is take a measurement of the rim, and then it can try and line them up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for it. To do that properly, I'm going to have to get the wheel weights off. things too high so it's telling me there's too much and it would like to correct that and so it wants me to measure the rim run out so I'm going to have to do exactly what you see in the picture that guy I'm going to hold there this guy I'm going to hold just inside the lip and then the button over there I'm going to push that so what I'll do bring this in hold there this guy's going to come down here right there and now it's going to spin the rim on its own and it's looking to see if the arms are going up and down a little bit. That's how it figures out its low spot. Okay, so here's the new trick that I get. It says, all right, we want this spot. This is the heavy spot. So right where the laser line is, I put a line. And then I'm going to tell it, okay, well, let's, let's go to the other one. Now it wants me to mark the rim. And what it's telling me is, if I go back to this machine, and I knock the tire loose, and I line up this chalk mark with that chalk mark, I should be able to get the uh, road force balance of 21 to predicted 15 pounds. Which means as I go down the road, I get less pounding and less vibration. Now am I gonna do that today? No, no I'm not gonna dismount again. We could if you want, but. <laughs> Most cars and trucks, you won't do this, but you get something new with an unusually light alloy wheel, 
like some of the um, new Volkswagens are like this. If you don't road force the tires when you put them on, you're going to get a vibration. Every single one of them. Unhappy customers. Okay, so that's what that is. But I'm going to uh, back out of this. No, I don't want to do the road force. I pulled the weights off, so what I'm going to do is what we'll do 90% of the time. We don't road force it, we just spin it for a balance. So I turn that part off. This time it'll just spin without hitting the drum. And let's see if we can balance this thing. There we go. So it looks like on the outside, what do I need? Nothing. That's spectacular. And on the inside, no, that's not too bad. So now what I need to do is find the correct wheel weight to go on here. So I've got uh, all kinds. If you're not sure, this guy has got all the different shapes of the rim, so I can come in here and match it if I needed to. That's a no. That's a no. Yeah, that's a maybe. Yeah, it looks like my orange. So if I go orange over here, you'll see it's one that says FN. That's the wheel weight that's going to fit best. Doesn't mean you can't force other wheel weights on. I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you needed to match it, that's what we're going to do. Now in this case, I need 0.75 ounces. So let me see if I've got one of those kicking around here. There we are, 0.75. And so what I need to do now is get this onto the rim. Now, if I click here, it's going to try and find that spot. But since I don't have the weight, it won't. If I click there, it lines this up, and my laser light on the inside of the rim is landing exactly where I need to put this thing. To make it a little bit easier when I put it on, this guy's my brake. So it'll stop it from spinning so it doesn't move around on me. And what I've also found is when you're putting a wheel weight on, it's easier to lean over the tire. Which means if I stand here and try to knock this on this way, just body mechanics say no. So what I'm going to do is come over here, hit the brake, line this guy up so that laser light right there goes right through the middle of it. Now I want to prove that it worked, because you might put a weight on it and find out it's still in out of balance. All kinds of things can contribute to that. Maybe there was a bad calculation when you spun it. Maybe this thing wasn't as tight as possible. So all I'm going to do is give myself a verification spin. And I'm looking for two OKs. There we go. Now I know my tire is perfectly balanced. It's been remounted. The air is back up. The only thing I didn't do was line it up for road force, right? If I really wanted to do a killer job on this thing, I might actually knock this free, line those up, and then balance it. But uh, I'm not too worried. This is on the Prius. I uh, deserve well-balanced tires <laughs> driving that thing around. OK, so wider range of abilities. Same thing. The only way to get good at this is to practice with it. So what I'm going to do is this tire is going to stay off the Prius today. If you want to take a shot at this machine, you're welcome to do so. Just, uh, you saw it already gave me a little bit of trouble, so just be ready for it. Same thing with this. Best thing to do is practice. In fact, if you want to try road force, and today's probably a good day for it. Okay, any questions on this machine? Nope. Okay, um, I think I've got a handful of good cars in today. I know we've